What's up guys on YouTube? How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys today about how can you make your own portable speakers here out of leftover speakers and also a 9 volt battery and the circuit board from an old uh, computer speaker themselves. Now, when I make a disclaimer here guys, this is a somewhat dangerous but it's also a very low voltage system this is not going to shock you as much but if you have it plugged in and you start playing on with the circuit board on the top when it's plugged into the dc to the ac wall uh it might shock you a little bit just to let you guys know i don't want you guys to hurt yourself by trying to do this type of experiment i am also going to be doing now no you guys can see, I have all the parts here. Uh, we have the music player, my iPod. We also have the stereo jack right here. We also have Elko clips. We also have three different speakers. We also have the uh, L, uh, the own uh, plug here, AC plug with a 9 volt uh, connect on it, a 9 volt battery and also the actual circuit board itself with the uh, controls and other thing on it. Now, here is the original speaker. This is a 4 ohm speaker and it is a 2 watt speaker. Pretty uh, low end though. And here we have a 8 ohm speaker, a 5 watt speaker right though. And for the biggest one with the big old magnet, this is a 8 ohm speaker and a 15 watt uh, speaker itself. Now let's talk about the connector here. This is just a regular connector, uh, AC connector with a L with a uh, 9 volt connector on it to able to connect the battery directly to the board itself. I'm going to be using an Energizer 9 volt rechargeable battery. You guys can see. Pretty cool. Pretty handy. Very nice to use that. And also the board itself. Now we do have a very nice circuit board here but it's not as very in good of a shape. You guys can see it has a lot of cord build up on it and stuff. I gotta do some clean on it. This board Sometimes we'll intermittently go in and out. It'll turn itself off or some weird ass stuff like that. We have the power LED. And we also have the power switch. And we also have the volume. And we have the treble. And we also have the output and the input. And we also have the different wires. We have the left and the right channel. And that's the input wire from a computer speaker. And we also have the AC input. Just a standard AC board. Pretty cool. And here's what the underneath of it looks like. It's pretty kind of nice. I really do like the way it looks. But we also have the iPod. And we also have the yellow cattle clips to able to test this. Now, one thing to make sure if you're going to be doing something like this, test it with the original speakers first before you actually go with one of the bigger speakers because with using a 9 volt battery you're not going to plug as much hours out of the whole system with, by using this but if you have a 9 volt AC adapter you could probably get away with doing that would probably last you a lot longer without running off of battery. But with this unit and the way I took it all apart was like I said, there was no chance of really saving everything on it. But yes, I salvaged speakers for a reason because I like saving the speakers because I can use speakers for different projects and different things. And also making speak portable some of our portable speakers out of them. Now, we're going to go ahead 
and we're going to hook up the original speaker to the original board. Then after that, then we're going to use this speaker on this board, and this a uh, pretty beefy speaker on the same board as well. Now, one thing you gotta note is make sure you know which one's your plus and which one's your ground. Make sure you don't short them out, and make sure we don't have any shorts on the speakers or also on the wires themselves. And also, you guys can see what bat, what type of uh, source I'm going to be using, power source wise, I'm going to be using a 9 volt battery. Now let's go ahead and move the iPod out the way. And let's go ahead and grab my uh, alligator clips. These are the standard jumper clips. You know, like you plug one end to the on end and you have everything will work just fine. Now, we do have to make sure all the uh, pieces and parts are off of each other. Make sure we don't have anything shooting out when we also are doing this type of a testing because it can be very it can be very bad. It can be very very bad for shorting out your speaker or shorting out something you don't want it to be shorted out. And you know it'd be heartbreaking if I short out the board or short out any of my equipment help. You and this guy over here. Now we're gonna take the original speaker and we're going to hook up the original speaker to the original board. I'm using the plus and negative leads because that's the way these uh, little tiny speakers work. I don't want to just want to ground the whole entire system. And we just don't want it to be sticking to any of the on components on the on the board itself. Now we're going to get the iPod and we're going to hook the iPod up to it as well. And it's pretty simple. It's simple for it here. It's a very uh, simple way to connect all sorts of different things if you want to try to do your own experimenting. Now, again, everything will work eventually if you uh, get everything uh, put together right. Make sure you put that on the input side and not the output side. And we take the power source, this is just the power source, and we're just going to plug it in like this. And this just snaps over the 9 volt battery, it's just a 9 volt clip. And with a dust they are or DC uh, plug. And we're just going to lay that like that, and we're going to plug this in. Now, is this going to work, or is this not going to work? That's the mystery. That's the mystery of doing all sorts of different things. Now, we see one problem, we got to uh, fix that. We're going to move that speaker on the way though, move that speaker on the way. And let's see if we have power. And we do got power. You see that little green light? I don't know if you guys can see it because everything's all hooked up. But there's my power light. That's power light turned on. And by the way, I have the volume and triple all the way down. And we're just going to go ahead and turn the volume up. Just a smidge, not, not too much. And we're just going to go ahead and play a simple song here. safety we're going to unplug it and we're just going to discharge the whole uh, type unit and we're going to switch to this speaker and after this speaker we're going to go to the much bigger speaker itself does to see what this board can handle now we'll put the original speaker off to the side put that off to the side as well and again we go through the same process it's hooking up each single component 
to the crux spot on the terminal block itself. And make sure you also have a very good connection. Make sure you don't have any shorts. And make sure you do test it slowly and see if it's going to be stable for everything to actual work like it should. Now the power's on and let's go ahead and play some music. Okay, it works with that speaker. Awesome. Now let's try the biggest speaker. Now again, make sure you unplug and we take the audio clips off off the 5 watt speaker and we go ahead and test it out on the bigger speakers. Now by the way, I do have the matching pills for these speakers themselves and it looks pretty good. Now, we do have this one. We can clip them right on here without uh, the, uh, clipping them on the bottom. And there you go. And we'll plug the power back into it. Make sure it's powered on. And we'll just go ahead and do the same exact test again. Just to make sure this board is going to handle the big old speaker. Now again, this board is not going to handle a big giant speaker. You can only handle the small speakers. Well, you guys can see, everything seems to work just fine. And I'm very happy on the way she's actually turning out to be. By doing all the testing and then making sure you don't have any type of shorts in your circuit. Make sure you have everything is correctly on your unit. Make sure you have the ground and the plus and everything else. And this board seems to be pretty good and seems to actually handle the actual three speakers. I put it through the test and see what it does. And this is a very easy project to able to do for anybody who wants to somewhat get into the portable type of speakers. But again, do test it with the original one and go from the original to the own speakers you have. Now this is a good idea. Alright guys, if you're going to this channel, please hit the uh, subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Please like. Peace out. Bye guys. I will see you in the next